Welcome back. Today we're at Palais, the New Hampshire Center for Laser and Medical Aesthetics, and I have two beautiful women with me today. I have the executive vice president, and her name is Laura Morgan, and I also have the executive director, who is Caroline Pierce, and she's an RN. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. How are you guys today? Great. Fabulous day. Yeah, it is a nice day out there, isn't it? Your place is so beautiful. I came in the first time and I was just, this is interesting because it's so beautiful, but it's sort of in a warehouse building. How did that happen? The, the idea was that um, to have a center that would not be on the main street, not on the beaten path and uh, beauty and some of the um, laser activities that are done here are private and they're personal. So if we're right in the middle of Manchester, however, we're off a little bit of the beaten path, then I think that our clientele will be more comfortable, men I, and women. That makes sense. It does make sense. You don't want to walk out of a place and have everybody see that you've just had some kind of procedure or something, right? Exactly, yeah. And yeah. It's, it, it is private and it's easy access and parking is great and, you know, we have multiple, we do have like, you know, an exit area. So if someone, you know, knew somebody in the waiting room post-procedure, they'd be able to exit out to the parking lot um, without being seen. And, and it is, it's a personal choice to have um, medical aesthetics. So tell me, what do you guys do here? Just it is a quick laundry list. What are the certain things, Caroline, tell me, what, what do you do here? We do a variety of things. We um, have an aesthetics program, which most people know as, you know, facials. Um, but we do um, have master estheticians who work here. We do um, medical type facials, microdermabrasion. We do, um, we use Glymed and a Dermasound machine. That's sort of like power washing the face, but you have to be trained. It's a very specific treatment modality. Then on top of that, you know, our skin consultants, along with me, we work together. So you have the medical piece and the aesthetics piece and try to really create the treatment modality that's right for that specific client. And we have a medical director who is Dr. Michelle Sassmore. So it is a medically driven aesthetics practice. You also do Botox, right? We do injectables, absolutely. Um, we call them muscle relaxants because there are a variety. Um, we use Botox and Dysport here at Pele, and we also do uh, dermal fillers, but we also, in conjunction, utilize lasers to help um, soften and resurface the skin. So this is new, a new place, a new business. Laura, you tell me what ever made you decide to go into this business to begin? Our background for the area is self-storage. Uh -huh. And then we went into uh, records management. And my husband's an entrepreneur. And so looking in the news, finding out what the trends are, and he was reading the newspaper at the famous Red Arrow Diner here in Manchester. And he read about what was happening in California and Texas and Chicago, which is tattoo removal. And it really hadn't hit the East Coast yet. And so that was the article. And he looked to his left, and he looked to his right, and he looked ahead of him and they all had tattoos including the chef and he said oh my gosh and so that was um, four years ago and yet um, look, doing the research he went out got the website he went and, and started collecting articles and finding out that it is medically um, a medical practice and it needs to be covered by medical in the state of New Hampshire so with working trying to find that individual we went to the entrepreneur player for a couple of other businesses until the day came when I met Caroline at a business networking meeting and she stood up and said, I'm a registered nurse moving into Manchester, New Hampshire from the, from the coast and I've been trained in lasers and I do tattoo removal. And when I heard the words, it all came together. Tattoo removal. That's interesting because people get tattoos and sometimes later in life they go, why did I do that? What and was I thinking? What was I thinking, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> what kind of things are you and Charlie doing to, to market this company? Well, the world lives through the internet, right? So that's a place to start, but also uh, reaching out to friends and families and acquaintances and looking for those that would be interested but maybe have not taken the step in to discover or learn about um, injectables or laser treatments. So we're putting private parties together 
where someone could bring in a group, 15, 20 um, girls, ladies that would be interested in coming in and we would make a, an exclusive private party. They could learn about that, they could have discount activities. That sounds done. like a great idea, especially for a new business to do that. And uh, another thing that I found very successful for me and many of my clients is to do speaking uh, engagements. What is the single thing that you would probably put your hat on that says, come here because you can't get it somewhere else? I'd like to answer that um, because I've been in this field for, well, I've been a nurse for 27 years. I have seen over the last decade that there are many practitioners out there doing medical aesthetics. Um, but they may be primary care, internist, you can go into your dentist's office now, your eye doctor. What I think differentiates us is that we are not jack of all trades. This is our specialty. It's what we do. Mm -hmm. Medical aesthetics is what we do. Do you have, is this business sort of a one of a kind in Southern New Hampshire? I would say so. There, there are, you know, there in Southern New Hampshire, you know, there are many plastic surgeon practices. Our, our plastic surgeon medical director, Dr. Sassmore, has a, um, a, a practice in Newburyport, um, but she doesn't, it, it's not a spa-like experience. What's in the future? for the business. Well, we do have room to expand in our facility here. And so along the lines of medical is that the massage that would be medical treated. Again, you have cancer patients that have situations where they can't just go get a relaxing massage, but it's medically done. Um, we could do hair and nails and, and pedicures, which is along the spa side, but um, really focusing on medical. And if we expand into those other beauty services, we could do it all under one roof. 60 is the new 50? Is that the way it's said? Or is it, no, yeah, 60 is the way, is the new 50, right? All right, let's go 45. Yeah, let's do 45. All right. <laughs> Six, all right. Because the new 50 is the new 35. 30, right. <laughs> 60 is the new 50, or the 60 is the new 45, and the new and 50 is the new 35, etc. And so we can match the outside with the inside. This has been a fun interview. I wish you the very best. I love entrepreneurs. I love the fact that you're creating jobs and doing new things. And, uh, it's very exciting, and you just have to tell me, what is your slogan one more time? Palais, are you ready for flawless skin? I'm ready for flawless skin. I hope you are too. We'll be right back.